Alrighty, and uh, and we're back. Um, I say, as uh, when we were gone, uh, we went ahead and. Uh, um, oh no! I lost my axe. What? You lost it? It broke. Dang it! <laughs> we went and smelted all, all the stuff that I'd collected, because, um, you know, that's probably the most boring thing you could ever watch. Um, and uh, we've yep. got uh, several things prepared for today, which is great to hear from us, right? Because how, how often do we actually have things prepared? Um, but as you can see, okay. the Forever House looks a little different. There's an expanded cactus farm and a flax farm. And um, um, we actually have uh, our quarry and our power system and everything uh, ready to go, all the components at least. So uh, I guess we can get started with the quarry, because uh, I can't wait to get my hands on that. Um, I, say, I figured I'd show you how to craft it, because uh, it's a little, a little expensive and difficult. Um, so first thing I need is, uh, is sticks for gears. So yeah, last time I tried it didn't work. Over 9,000 sticks. <laughs> Um, I need sticks. Well, you know what? I should have just got everything while I was up there. Duh. <laughs> Alright, so I need sticks. I need stone. I need gold. And iron. And I have my diamonds downstairs. So... They're up here. Oh, yeah, they're fine. Yeah, so for starters, um, I'm just going to show you the uh, the quarry recipe here. I'm off for a uh, cactus farm. Yay. Okay, yeah, and Xander's going to go build a cactus farm real quick while we're while we're here. Um, so this is the recipe for a quarry. Um, it's three iron gears, one thing of redstone, two gold gears, two diamond gears, and one diamond pickaxe. Now, that's that's actually really, really expensive. Um, and I, I forgot the redstone upstairs, so I'll go grab that stack real quick. But, uh, so, um, it's kind of long and kind of repetitive as well. So, um, that was a total of how many gears? That was seven gears. So, obnoxious amount of gears. Uh, <laughs> So to make a wooden gear, you just kind of, um, you put four sticks around a diamond pattern like that, and it gives you wood gears. Now, to upgrade those, as you saw, the, the base thing that we needed was, uh, was an uh, iron gear. So now to upgrade those, you surround it by stone first, and then by iron. By iron? No, oh, oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> Alrighty, oh. and then by gold. Now I only need four of these for the recipe. Unfortunately, ow, the ow, part ow, is ow, it has to, ow, it has to ow, stage ow, itself up. Ow, ow, water, what water, where's done? water? I need water. Ow, no, ow, ow. I'm ow. an idiot because I left my hands uh. in the chest as well. So, <laughs> only um, mild third degree burns, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I kind of walked in the lava. <laughs> nice. Anywho, and then to finish off the diamond gears... Oh, why am I putting four down? I'm an idiot. We only need two diamond gears. Getting a little overzealous. So it's four diamonds per gear, um, which, is, which is just an amazing amount of, of diamond gears. Okay, and then we need one unused diamond pickaxe. Um, it's important that it's unused because it won't craft if it is used. Um, so the diamond pick goes in the bottom. You got th three iron gears in a shape like that. The two diamond gears in the bottom two gold gears, and a piece of redstone. Makes us our quarry, which is the, the thing that we've long awaited. Now, while we were off screen, I'll go over how to make engines in a little while. Um, <clears throat> I made up some steam engines um, that I just put there. Um, some water strainers, pumps, redstone engines, all sorts of different stuff that we're going to need. Um, but the other thing that I made are is uh, landmarks. Um, now, those things are handy. I'll show you how to make one real quick. Um, they allow you to define the size of, of your quarry. Um, which is really handy, because by default, I think it's, what, 5x5, five five, Zan? Mm, yeah. Um, it, it's something small, so it, it's, 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 it's going to run pretty quick and get down to bottom pretty quick, but, I mean, you're not going to get a whole lot God. of stuff. So, um, for a landmark, you just need to make one redstone torch and put one piece of lapis or indigo dye on top of it, and it gets you one landmark. Um, uh, <clears throat> now, um, Xander, where do you think we should set the quarry up? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of... Uh, mm. Um, I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> Some place we just want to decimate. Um, yeah, I, 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 I vote for this mountain behind us here. I kind of had a minor leak. Um, everything's under control. It's it's, it's fine. Nothing's burning. <laughs> <laughs> what have, what have you done? Uh, I might have found the main lava tube. Just gonna say. Um, mm. You might have found a lava what? I might have found a lava tube. You were you were just digging through the volcano and lit everything on fire. Maybe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make this a uh, really long and thin quarry. Um, so oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 um, um, uh, okay. <laughs> what have you done? 
All right, dude, I'm trying to set the quarry. <laughs> quarry. <laughs> anyway, one important thing to, do, uh, to note. Uh, oh, you burned to death. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, no. Is that the landmarks all have to be on the same level. So um, as I'm setting this up, I've got to make sure they're on the same row and same level. So you can define... Um, let me just show you the default region for the quarry. So if you just set it up, it's going to automatically define itself a region like that. So to make it bigger or smaller, we need to... <coughs> Um, we need to actually define it in area. So um, I have the two down here, and if you right-click landmarks, you see there's a red line that appeared in between them. Uh, so um, then I need to come over here, um, down this same pathway, and I'll put this landmark right here, and drop that there. And then with three of them up, they'll make a box. Um, if you need to... Um, make it higher or lower, you can just build like a stack of uh, dirt right here and put one on the side. And you know what, just uh, just to do it, I'll build a stack of cobble because I have it. Faster lava, go away! Oh, no! Ah, All dang right. it, I did it again! again. Uh, if I wanted to define a height for it, then I could just right-click on that. Uh... And it'll make a cuboid. Um, now to select this cuboid, um, we need to just kind of put the quarry down by one of the landmarks. You saw before that it was in the middle of the, in the, of the frame, but now it needs to be on the edge of the frame, because uh, if not, it doesn't pick up the landmarks. Um, and the landmarks will auto-drop um, once you're done with them, so you don't waste landmarks. They're, they're a renewable resource, I guess. Uh, <laughs> you can use them over and over again for whatever you need, um, which is great. Um, okay, so now we got our quarry, and I'm absolutely stoked. Uh, everybody's thinking 11 diamond. That was uh, that was really expensive for, for one piece of machinery. But oh, yeah. oh, oh, I tell you, is it worth it? Uh, <laughs> this thing is now going to just auto-mine for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this uh, like this uh, the steam engine setup here. Um, we need uh, you just place them down. Um, this is the basic way to set up the engine. You can just place them down, and it'll face into whatever they're powering. Um, power always comes out of <clears throat> um, this blue end when you set it down, never out of this end. Um, and uh, to power these steam engines, you need something combustible like coal and uh, a redstone current applied to it. So we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And these engines will activate. All right, there we go. And the engines are activated, and you can see that it's building this frame. Um, this is stage one. Um, there's two stages to the quarry building process. The first stage, it builds this frame and will delete any blocks held within this cuboid. Um, it just deletes them, they're gone. Um, oh, and you know, the one thing that I'm an idiot and I forgot to do is set up our chest. So I'm going to turn this off real quick before it uh, starts. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, because it just starts shooting bits and pieces around everywhere. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it'll build this frame, and then after it's done building the frame completely, um, it'll spawn in an arm, and the arm will go <clears throat> row by row, block by block, and uh, and take out all of the goodies uh, that lay within this square. Um, so real quick, I'm just going to go back and grab my chest. <clears throat> all the way down to bedrock, or if it finds lava. So. <laughs> what, what? So, so it goes all the way down to bedrock, or if it finds the lava. Yeah, that's true. It will go all the way down to bedrock or find lava. lava. Yeah, well, I mean, it is a diamond head. I mean, your diamond pickaxes burn up in lava, so, I mean, it, it only makes sense. Oh, God, it's night. Uh, I'm trying to start a light vote. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, no, I did it again. No, no. Uh, it's a good thing lava moves slowly, maybe? Yes. Ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, but... you need to quit hitting the lava tubes. And then I'll go over here and wait for my, my light vote to pass here. Uh, and uh, we need some transport pipe. And, yeah, there we go. Wooden transport pipe and cobblestone transport pipe. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you need the wooden, but uh, I put it on there anyway just to be uh, just to be careful. Uh, so now that uh, now that my vote passed in his day again, um, I can safely go back outside. And we're going to make a very basic uh, collection system um, for this. Uh, as soon as I vanquish the creeper that has... Uh, decided it wants to have hugs. And I really don't want to hug it. I don't know. Oh, and I died, apparently. How did you... What, I don't know what? what happened there. It just it just was bad. What? <laughs> what? So I got a bit of frame, late, frame, frame rate lag. Let's use the back command and come on right on back hey. to my death point. Hey, I hope the mines don't get buried. And then I've got to kill the skeleton that's just beating the hell out of me now. Alright, there we go. Alright. Alright, everything's back, everything's okay. Um, I am missing my cobblestone transport pipe, though. That is unfortunate. Anyway, uh, I guess I can show you how to make pipes, then. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, that, that was an unfortunate mess. So uh, what we're going to do real quick is uh, just kind of utilize the lovely fact that macerators can macerate cobblestone into... Oh, that's right, they can, can't they? Why did I go my digging sand then? Huh? Why did I go on a sand hunt? Because I didn't really actually know that you could, uh, you could macerate those into that. So, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was an unfortunate uh, encounter with a creeper. Um, anyway, I guess I'd get the chest started up while, or uh, set up while that's, uh, while that's macerating there. If I saw the chest. Aw, oh, man, I lost the chest too. And my axe. Alright, so I need to go and make a whole bunch of crap real quick. Uh, so gems, gems ho. Uh, take three of those. <laughs> <laughs> for, I'm once, for once I had everything set up, everything set up, and, and then it blows up with, with, with a creeper. See, see kids, see, this is what happens when you're prepared. So, <laughs> I was hoping I had enough power in here to, uh, to actually do what I needed to do. Because um, uh, we're kind of out of coal for fuel, and we're just kind of running through the rest of our energy buffer. Um, so, I thought you had water strainers up. No, we don't have the water strainers up yet. I have them. I have them ready to go up because uh, um, I want to show everybody how to set one up. <laughs> do so that, I'll, huh? I'll do that. I'll do that directly after the quarry. Um, so I mean, we got the the quarry going. I figured we could get that started and then do the water strainers. I wasn't expecting it to be blown up. <laughs> <laughs> so I just need to gather some wood for chests. Just a couple chests. Why do I have four clay? I don't know why you have four clay. Why do you have that, four clay? Was I doing something with clay last? Oh, dang it. Is that? Uh, do we have any charcoal? Uh, no, we got nothing, dude. There is no coal. <laughs> no, ah. no, no coal form substances. If you want to actually, like, try and make some really quick with the last of the power that we have, feel free. But, uh, we, we literally have, like, no power. Um, I just got 20 wood. So I'll make what I need into planks for chess. Um, I really just need like four for starters. So <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see how that how many I have left. <laughs> or we can start chopping down your tree wall. One of the two. Uh, if you want. <laughs> I mean, it is right. it is a lovely tree wall. Don't don't get me wrong. But I mean, it's still just a tree wall. <laughs> it's just, I can't see at the present moment. All right. So we got our glass. Go ahead and make cobblestone transport pipes, which is just glass and cobblestone on the outside. Um, there's many different varieties of pipes um, that uh, that I'll, I'll go through, um, but uh, cobblestone's kind of like your basic garden variety pipe. Um, wood here um, is what you need to extract items out of an inventory, such as a chest or, um, like I said, I'm not really sure if you need it for uh, for the uh, for the quarries and things like that, because I know they automatically eject items. But, uh, like I said, I'd just rather be safe. Okay, so I got eight chests, Xander. There's another four wood here. All right. <laughs> Let them know that we're fresh out of coal, too. Um, so, anywho, uh, coming back over to our lovely quarry. So, to set this up, you just need to put the wood transport pipe on top of that. And you put the cobblestone, just like this. And you can put chests underneath it as well. Alright, good. I mean, there is an alternative way to set up the quarry. You could theoretically just put a chest right up against it, but, uh, I mean, it's... it fills up really quick. Let's put it that way. I mean, if you consider how big this quarry is, even if it was just 5x5, five five, it's mining 63 blocks down to bedrock. So, that's that's a lot of material, if you think about it. Tall um, enough? Sorry. Talking to myself. <laughs> But, but yeah, so, I mean, that's, that's that's a whole load of blocks, and if you think about it, I mean, even if they're all the same type, that entire thing would not fit into one of these chests. Anywho, so we're going to go ahead and restart the quarry, and it's going to go ahead and build itself. And uh, that's going to take itself a little while, so uh, we're going to go and start on our water strainer setup real quick. So, back inside, 
It's not exactly the, the fastest builder in the face of the planet. And I know you see the, the all the uh, the access granted to wooden door and everything flashing around the bottom. Uh, we just uh, installed the uh, AHS lock system that locks doors and everything as well. That's really, really kind of handy. Um, anywho, um, so the basis of this free energy system is called a water strainer. Um, so first off, um, you need a water mill, um, which is this. Um, so it's a generator that we made a few episodes ago, um, surrounded oh with wooden planks and sticks, and it gives you two water mills, which is actually a pretty good return on it. And then you need to upgrade it into a strainer, which was added in the uh, um, the Buildcraft IC2 conversion, um, I do believe. Um, and it just takes one tank, one water mill, and one iron waterproof pipe, and it turns it into a water strainer, which is great. Uh, and what that does is you what? can pipe water directly into it instead of the water mill where you'd have to put pipes ah, in. What? And uh, it will ah. automatically... Um, <clears throat> it will automatically uh, did, uh, take EU out, um, which I saves think, us the problem. <laughs> I think my guy, when I was gone, or when I died, took some LSD, because I just, like, traveled through, like, nine worlds. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. So yeah. I've done a couple upgrades down here since last time you've seen it. Um, I expanded the pools a little bit. Uh, we found out that, uh, that you need um, a 3x3 three three pool, at the very least, to sustain um, this thing. So, okay, so I'm going to put the two pumps down there, and they should, yeah, they're going to go ahead and lower themselves down into the water, um, and I am also an idiot, and I need to chip that up and that up, because I need to put that there so I can install the engines on top of it. <laughs> redstone engines out. And when you place them, they'll automatically face whatever needs to be powered, so you don't have to actually go around and make them change yourself. Um, so, okay, so there's that, and I have one redstone torch on me right now. I need to make one more. <clears throat> and uh, you just put the redstone torch um, right in between the redstone engines, which are the least powerful engines, and uh, they'll start pumping eventually, and we'll... Um, just kind of uh, put power into this pump. And um, they take a little while to get warm up, warmed up. Any of these engines um, have several different states they can be in. Blue is, you know, freshly installed, extremely cool. Um, there's a green state, which is like their optimal operating efficiency. There's a, an orange state, which is just like almost exploding. And then there's a red state, which is exploded. Or in terms of redstone engine, it's seized. Um, so, um, I mean, obviously you don't want engines to seize and do all sorts of bad things, uh, because it's just not generally good for productivity. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and, uh, you know what, uh, scratch that. We're just going to go and put strainers in front of here. Uh, also, just as a note, any buildcraft thing, make sure that you chip it up with... Um, Make sure that you chip it up with a pickaxe. If you don't chip it up with a pickaxe, it will break, and you'll be a very sad person. <laughs> um, because any of that hard work uh, that you put into it, it just goes away like a glass pane. And <laughs> uh, that I didn't know. Hmm. Yeah, if yeah, if if you do, Bye. it's just it's just the saddest day of your life. <laughs> right, so we just need some cobblestone pipe or a waterproof pipe. There's a little bit of a different, uh, different sort of pipe, um, waterproof pipe. You essentially make it the same way that you made this cobblestone transport pipe, but what you need is waterproofing, um, which looks like this. And you make it by just putting um, cactus green anywhere in your crafting square, and it will pop out um, as a, as a pipe waterproofing. Um, so in order to make cactus green, you just get a piece of cactus and you cook it. So, which is actually why I'm making this. Yeah, that's why Xander's making uh, making our gigantic cactus farm uh, uh, because uh, we're gonna need epic amounts of cactus. What? I thought I got rid of all of you. Dang it! No, you're not lava. Balls. Uh, no. What? You're still there. <laughs> what about lava? It just keeps coming back. I get rid of it. It goes. No, you didn't, Mole. <laughs> All right, so this is once again like the most basic water strainer setup, just using two pumps. Um, just through extensive testing that we've done on the server, we found out that two pumps can make um, five of these run pretty well. Um, 
or, or one pump can make five of them run pretty well, so I have ten. Um, and these pumps will output about two EUT, which um, you need five to run as one generator. So we're going to replace this one generator with, uh, you know, ten, or sorry, with five, um, with five of these cells, or with five of these uh, strainers. And um, we'll add another five to double our power output, which is great. Um, the nice part about this is they will run in infinitely, um, and uh, they they power themselves, so it's it's really free energy. I'm just trying to find my rubber. Where did I put my rubber? I don't know. I know Where I did you rubber. put your rubber? I don't know. There was rubber. Anyway, I might have to go get more rubber. Ah, there we go. Okay, now it's all gone. So yeah, that's that's kind of bad. I don't know if maybe Mr. Creeper blew up my rubber. But if you did, that would be sad. Okay, yeah. Oh, and it's a good thing I came back outside because the quarry has started its second phase. Um, so as you can see, it's built this orange frame all the way around the area that it's going to be mining. And now this arm has spawned in uh, with a, dry, a diamond drill head on it. And it's going to go through layer by layer, as you can see, um, and dig out this entire area. So it just moves, oops, just moves line by line and goes through. And then it's going to output all of the blocks that it mines into this lovely pipe right here. And it's going to put them in the chest. So it's already got 56 dirt in that chest. Wow, this thing's, this thing's already been moving. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that works. like I said, this is the most basic form of sorting system that you could ever do. It doesn't actually sort. It just kind of stores everything in bulk. Um, and uh, it's just going to kind of dump more things into this chest and the next chest and the next chest. It's got a random chance which way it goes inside the pipe here. Um, so uh, we'll make improvements to the system as, as time goes on, but for right now we just kind of needed something that would catch everything. Um, so now to go over to my lovely rubber tree and get a whole bunch more rubber.